Oh. Joining me, Lacey Wild, a mother who is risking her health and perhaps her family's well-being to have a record-breaking, mm, what should we say, endowment. I also have plastic surgeon Dr. John Diaz here with me. Lacey, I want to start with you. So uh, people are, look at what you're doing and they shake their head and they don't understand why. Tell us why. Well, basically, I was uh, started this crusade to make some more money, and uh, I've done exactly that, and I'm not done yet. I'm uh, going to finish it and do it right, and uh, I'm going to become one of the biggest in the world. And, how, and um, yeah. I've taken my health into, into consideration. And, and, and how, this is an, you want to go from an L to an M, I understand. I, I don't know what that means, even. Is, there, is that really meaningful, or is that just funny, letters? Well, it's going to... Well, it's letters to you, but in the big breast community, it's a lot more than that. Um, it will put me, it, I'm not going to an M, I'm going to a triple M, um, triple which is a lot bigger. I'm an L cup now, bordering an M cup. Um, it, it, it'll skyrocket me into the top in the world. I don't, I don't think I'll ever be the biggest in the world. The biggest in the world is 14,000 cc's in one implant, and I'm uh, 3,500. So... Um, you know, I don't think I'll ever be 14,000 in one implant. And, All right, let, uh, let, let me I'm ask you. I'm definitely going to be one of the top five. Let, let me ask a couple things. How, how much do, will, will each of those weigh? Um, I think they'll weigh like 20 pounds. 20 pounds each? Oh, they, they will weigh 20. No, my, well, my breasts already weigh 20 pounds now. Okay. And, um, and don't they'll you They'll probably have, weigh like 20 pounds. Doesn't that cause you back and neck problems already? Um, no, I don't have any back problems, uh, really. Uh, from the breast, anyway, um, I'm pretty uh, proportionate. If you see the rest of my body, I'm I'm not a small girl. Dr. Diaz, I I, I have grave concerns. I've got I've got ten pound um, fruit down here. I'm going to pick this up, and 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 I mean not to be funny about this, but I, first of all, I got backache just picking them up. Uh, if I put this on my chest and tried to lie down, I couldn't sleep. Yeah, I mean, really, just leaning back like this, I, I have trouble taking a deep breath. I mean. That's not good for your heart and lungs, just that. There is no question that she is causing severe damage to her body by having implants of this size in her breast. There's no question. Not only to her skin, to her, I'm sure she's having some kind of chronic neck and back problems. It has to be. I, I, I'm having trouble just carry, holding this for two minutes. Absolutely. And the other thing is that a lot of people don't realize is when you have a weight like this on your chest, over time, that weight starts eroding into your rib cage. And there have been pictures that other plastic surgeons have submitted where when we remove implants this large, we'll see the ribcage actually sunken in. Caved in. Absolutely. Well, I, listen, I got, I'm going to put them back up here again and tell you that I, I'm a you know, nearly 200-pound male. And just putting this here, it, it, I cannot take a deep breath. It, it would hurt if I kept another 10 minutes here. Absolutely. But so, Lacey, how is that possible? How could you not be having symptoms? I mean, I'm, just doing it for, I'm just doing the math here for a couple of minutes. Well, I... I... I have problems sleeping and I have problems getting clothes and stuff, but I've been carrying big breasts for my entire life. Um, so I'm got, I did it gradually. I didn't do it all at one time. So I've been uh, doing this for quite a long time. Now recently I did add it, you know, 10 pounds. But just recently I, I got my butt done too and I have a big butt and I have my, you know, I'm a strong girl. I'm not a weak little girl. And, you know, I'm 5'7", almost 5'8", and uh, I weigh like 140, so, and that's, you know, I'm not a small girl, so I can handle the weight. I'm just saying, I'm Lacey. Used to it right now. I'm just now, saying. I, I weigh 190, and I, I'm having trouble holding the weights. So I had to I'd give them to my stage manager. But, but let, let, let me take some calls, and we'll just take a couple questions about this, see what people think. Denise in California. Denise. Hi, Dr. Drew. Hi, Denise. How are you? I'm good. What's up? I'm calling from the other side of the globe. I'm calling from Boston. Okay. And uh, the first thing I saw before the commercial was this woman and the last thing i heard was she had a child yes how old if possible is this daughter of hers okay Denny, uh lacy how old is your daughter or do you have just do you have just one daughter i have three daughters three and daughters. three sons and how old are the girls uh, I have a five-year-old, a 16-year-old, and a 25-year-old. And Denise, or is it Denise? What did you want to ask yes. Lacey about these? It's, it's, I wanted to ask her, how does she feel about going to their schools, about being seen in public places like the supermarket with these little children? Mm. Doesn't she know that it's probably embarrassing them? What do you say, Lacey? 
Well, yeah, I mean, my kids have been through a lot lately. Obviously, I've been in the media a lot. Um, and it is hard for them. I, I don't dress like this when I go to the grocery store, obviously. And, um, you know, I, uh, it's hard for them, but um, they've always known me to look like this. So, you know, um, they're kind of used to it. Now, people, they, they gasp when they see me, of course. But, um, you know, it's, but it's, it, everybody has their own thing to deal with and make their own sacrifices in. This is just what we're doing to live. And this so, is this is for um, this. You're so we just saying, Lacey. This is for money. You couldn't li live without this. You couldn't send your kids to college. Is that where to believe? Right. Okay. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. Well, I was doing that. I was living without my boobs for you know I had smaller boobs. Uh, but once I went into rocketed into this, I I started making a lot more money. Okay.